Hey guys, it's Travis from Goat Knives. I kind of just want to do a brief overview of the Capra Hunter Titanium. Kind of point out the why and some of the key features of the knife. As a backpack hunter, I'm always trying to scrutinize every piece of gear in my backpack, make sure it's the lightest and make sure it's something that I absolutely need. With this knife, you're basically able to achieve breaking down a big game animal in the field or cutting up anything that you might need a knife for and having a set of Allens that you can tighten tripod legs or fix your sights or tighten your rest, limb bolts, anything like that. Uh, even, even a rifle scope, carry a Torx uh, T25 bit and you can get back on paper, sight in on a rock or whatever while you're in the back country and not completely ruin your hunt. This knife is 1.4 ounces. That's with the O-rings, with two bits in the handle and two feet of braided BCY lanyard material. Obviously, we've got a replacement blade knife. Kind of went with a replacement blade knife just because it's the lightest. Bare bones, bare minimum, you can throw away a blade when it's dull and grab a new one. And this is, you can do, you can break down any big game animal with this knife, and I do. So when you finally wear out a blade, it's really simple. Just grab the blade like this, you put a little flex right here in the bottom of the blade, and it pops right off. And it's pretty much the same to put it on. You slide it right on here, a little flex in the blade, it's locked in, solid as can be. I've got these cutouts here. I have two in-handle storage for your bits. Uh, you don't have to store them in the handle. We just figured we want to skeletonize the knife anyway, and this is one way to reduce the weight and keep function in the design. They've got these two driver O-rings here. It just slides right out of the handle, just like this. Um, you can pull it out, but you just take these little O-rings just like this, slides right in your handle. This was just a great way, and it's, it's very functional, very simple, and you can fix anything. You can, you can tighten your bow sight, like I said, or tighten something up. It's basically a, a game changer, in my opinion. You're not gonna ruin your hunt. You're not gonna have to think about having a set of Allens in the backcountry, because you already do. You don't have to pack a full set of Allens. You can pack just the ones you need for your specific setup. In my setup, I only need three to accomplish everything from tripod to my bow. This lanyard here, this is BCY24 material. You use this for like a D-loop. You can replace a D-loop in the field if you were to break one or fray. Um, you can also use this, there's two feet of it, to replace a, a fall away rest. So this is great for the backcountry archery hunter. So I kind of want to point out the jimping notches here on the knife. We've got one here up for your thumb and one down here for your pointer finger. This jimping is great for for one reducing weight and then especially like if you're you're in there and you're skinning a bear hide or something like that and you're covered in bear fat, these just really lock your fingers in there solid. Yeah, these jimping notches have a very specific purpose, give you added grip and reduction in weight. So this is a quarter inch drive hole. This is for aiding. It's basically the tooling for using your Allen bit. So your Allen bit just goes right in that hole. You just push it in with these keeper O-rings, kind of squeeze them up there tight like that. And there you have it. You can fix whatever you need to in the field. 